Welcome back again. We are going on a road trip to Roaring Rivers. It will be our family of four's first time. First, we have so much to do at the farm before we can even leave. And if you're anything like myself, then your to-do list is really long. Add your husband's to-do list, add your children's to-do list, and then add on livestock and all the plant and farm duties. It can get really anxiety riddled really fast. That's why I'll say this a thousand times, get you a spouse that can make you laugh even when you don't feel like it. Also, if you're a parent, then you know how lucky it was that we got to ride solo on this road trip. His parents offered to take the kids. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Once we started to get closer to our destination, I couldn't take it and I wanted to change into my suit. I personally spent a few years hating the body I was in and then feeling self-conscious about being proud of the body I was now in and I'm tired of feeling that way like I'm proud of where I'm at in my life it's not perfect and I don't condone my body on anyone else if it is not a healthy place to be for you so just let me be happy for where I'm at I've never gotten so much hate for how skinny I am in my life And it's wild, like I've had two children naturally with C-sections, like cut me a break. Yes, I'm skinny, but I was skinny before I had children. Yes, I even bear loose skin and stretch marks. Yes, I have no boobs, I'm flat chested. And I, yeah, had bigger boobs before this, but I breastfed my child for 14 months and I'm proud of that. What, what of it? My point in saying all this guys is you're not seeing the whole picture. Okay. You're usually zoomed in into a pretty little moment for a fraction of someone's day. Just remember that you're zoomed into that small still frame. There's so much more to the bigger picture and everything you see on the internet. really enjoyed this one-on-one -on -one time with my husband even though there was traffic it was such a beautiful drive and it was so special to spend that time with just him and i so if you get that chance to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with your spouse go do it get in the car turn the music up and take that drive i'm so thankful that brady's family invited us this year Memorial Day is such an important and special holiday. It falls on the last Monday in May. And unlike Veterans Day, which falls on November 11th and celebrates and honors all those that have served for our country and our freedom, Memorial Day is specific to those who have died and given their lives while defending and fighting for our country. So I really want that to be understood and I like that I had that opportunity to teach that to my children. So instead of saying something like happy Memorial Day um, to your loved ones, try something like wish you a memorable and meaningful Memorial Day or you could say something like wishing you a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. I hope that helps and I hope that you find that information interesting. I know I did. It's so funny, I almost never get to go inside with my husband. Either one of us has to stay behind with the kids. That's usually how it goes, so it's kind of fun. We literally never drink. We did all of our drinking in high school, but since we're gonna be white water, I thought it might be fun to have one six pack since my mother-in-law will be with the kids. We 
we are so out of practice. It's hilarious. I love those blue ones. It treats me so nice. Just the Have you ever been so deeply invested in your life and in the grind and in elevating to a higher level for you and for your family and just forget how beautiful that person is that you chose to spend your life with and then all of a sudden you look over and you remember? Yeah, I love those moments. Keep your eyes on the road, Mr. Horton. My in-laws come here every year. My oldest, my stepbaby, actually has been going every year with them since I can remember. And this is our first year. though because we expected my stepbaby to be there and they actually weren't able to come so we didn't get to spend their birthday with them however very ironically we were able to celebrate many birthdays while on this trip it just happened to not be the specific birthday we really wanted to what? The homeschool mama me is trying to think of all the different ways that I can teach my kids while on this trip. And honestly, there were so many opportunities, it was quite overwhelming. So if you're faced with that same situation, remember, fun is where learning happens.